welcome to another video. Today, I am doing a tag that has recently been born. G over from Book Roast has created a tag based on a conversation that we had that started off with a conversation about my wardrobe. And that conversation, <laughs> that conversation escalated into us talking about all of our hidden books that didn't quite make it onto the bookshelf. So she's now created a tag and she has called it the Hidden Books Tag and tagged me. So here we are, let's go. The first step of this tag is to say where your hidden spot is. And mine is in my wardrobe and in the cupboard at the top of the stairs. So I've got two spaces and that's where most of the books that didn't make it onto this shelf live and that isn't necessarily because they're not good books or I don't want to display them sometimes it is because they are massive and don't fit or just that I kind of forgot I have them let's start with the wardrobe books because they are the biggest and most boring so first off we have this encyclopedia <laughs> this is animal life the definitive visual guide to animals and their behavior it's really heavy really big doesn't fit on my shelf and i haven't touched it in at least two years until now this book i got when i was much younger and really really into animals and although a lot of the other books that i got at that period of my life i have got rid of this one is a bit more special because it's huge and has like everything in it what have i landed on iguanas is that an iguana that's not an iguana that's a sea iguana Marine iguana. It is a marine iguana. See? <laughs> Random iguana. Rhino butt. <laughs> There's lots of strange images of animals and things that I didn't know. Next is Tigers. Again, this is a huge book that doesn't fit. Another one that came at a period of my life where I was obsessed with animals and I was actually obsessed with tigers. They are still my favourite animal, but I don't collect tiger books anymore. <laughs> And this one is actually just photos of tigers. If you will show, it's got some information, but mostly this book focuses on tiger photography. Look at that nose, isn't it cute? Oh, looking back on this just makes me remember how much I love tigers. So many cute tiger pictures. So yeah, just a book of tiger photography, really. Next is Tigers, another one of the tiger books that I had. And this one is from the BBC, as seen on the BBC. So again, lots of tiger photography and this is more information as well. And I think this followed, like there was a documentary on it and this was pretty much the documentary in book form. So it followed the cameraman's diary and just bits of information about tigers and the stuff that happened on their journey. So th there is the cameraman riding an elephant. Tiger documentary in book form. Next is tigers. Are you getting the hang of this now? I have lots of tiger books. I think this is the last one. Uh, this one is a WWF book on tigers. And similarly, lots of tiger photography information on why you should save and protect the tiger and other cute things information background behavior etc how many tigers there are left which is a very sad topic okay that's all the tiger books out of the way you'll probably be pleased to know um and now we have this little pokemon book it's like a little manga thing of Pokemon because I love Pokemon and the only reason this isn't in my bookshelf obviously isn't because it's too big because it's tiny but because it doesn't actually fit with anything although it's not an organized bookshelf I don't have any other books of this variety so it just doesn't go anywhere and the last wardrobe book is actually one that I really love and got out not that long ago and that is the last unicorn graphic novel and I love this book and I recently did a book talk on the novel, which is here somewhere. So if you haven't seen that, I will link that down in the description and you can check it out because this is a really, really lovely story. 
and I don't know why it's um, in my wardrobe. Again, doesn't go with anything. I don't have any other graphic novels, which saddens me because this is really pretty and the artwork in here is beautiful as well. Moving on. Now we go to the cupboard at the top of the stairs books that are actually good books and I don't know why they live in that cupboard, but they do. So yeah, let's start off with something that I know that at least one person is going to be quite mad about and that is the fact that the Hunger Games trilogy lives in that cupboard and I haven't read them. Sorry! <laughs> I've been told I need to move these onto my main shelf so that they stare at me and I'm forced to read them and I will one day but I'm sorry they're not going on my main shelf. I will read them though, eventually, I promise. I don't like the covers of these, I feel like if they were gonna go on my main shelf I would definitely want different covers. Eh, cupboard books, sorry. Next we have a box set of books that I actually forgot I had and now that I've seen them again they probably won't live on my main shelf because they're not main shelf material but they are good books and I do need to reread them and that is The Chronicles of Narnia. I have the whole box set in here, all seven of them. They're all there and now I've seen them again and realised that I do have them and they are just in that cupboard at the top of the stairs. I need to read them again. So. They'll probably stay out of the cupboard for a little while, but they'll go back in there eventually because they're just a bit old and tatty and the box is totally falling apart and I don't really have any space to be honest unless I get rid of my Christmas tree, which isn't going to happen because when there's no Christmas tree there, there's going to be something else decorative. Narnia, going to read them again, then put them back in the cupboard. Lastly, this is the last box set that's in the cupboard. We have oh, a series of unfortunate events. 1 to 10 in the box set, 11 to 13 not in the box set, and then the blank book as well, which isn't part of the series but I still have and love. Not that it's actually a book, it, this is really difficult to hold. Not that it's actually a book, it is a notebook but it has like quotes from the books in there as well and um, it's never going to be used as a notebook because it lives with this series but there's that and then obviously the main 13 books that I read a very long time ago and probably will not reread but I am really looking forward to the um, series of this that I believe is going on Netflix at some point when that happens I will get Netflix because I don't have Netflix at the minute oh god it's so heavy it's hurting my back but yeah all of them they'll go back in the cupboard because they definitely don't fit on my shelf because there's so many of them and no way am I separating them that is all of my hidden books that I can find. There are probably books elsewhere in this house that I cannot find. Can't think of any off the top of my head that I know are missing though. There are a lot of my books that I don't have on my shelf because other people have them. They're not hidden, they're just not in my house. Otherwise it's just my colouring books that are not reading books, so they're not on this shelf. They are on my other shelves that are over there and are full of who knows what so that's them out of the way this has been a really fun tag to do because i've actually found books narnia that um i forgot i had and do want to reread so i'm glad that i have actually looked in these places now that is all of them i am going to tag some people down in the description so go and have a look and see if you're tagged if you are not tagged and you want to do this i absolutely encourage you to do it because it's a new tag, let's get the word out there about the tag. Um, and it's also fun to look through your old, not necessarily loved, but you might have forgot you had them books. And let's face it, we all have some books that just didn't quite make it to the shelf. So you go find them and make this video if you want to. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Chat to me down in the comments. If you fancy subscribing, I'm always eternally grateful for that. And I will see you next time. Bye.